Hi and welcome back to my playthrough of Nemo's War. So far I'm doing okay, but first of all I really want to thank you guys for all the encouraging words I received on YouTube, Board Game Geek, Twitter, you name it, really appreciate the input guys. And yeah, I think without further ado, let's go back to the actual game and yeah, continue our quest on the Nautilus here. But there was an interesting discussion about those steam torpedoes if they are overpowered of some sort. Uh, first of all, I was actually um, thinking the same to be honest but when really thinking about it and reading the FAQ it's okay it's a free attack you basically hit and roll on a one two on a six against a warship or five or six against any other ship which is okay you roll two dice so the odds are really in your favor that much is clear but it's really also important to keep in mind that um, those torpedoes or when you're using those torpedoes any warship will still be allowed to attack you first so yeah i think this even thinks out a little bit but i don't have those steam torpedoes with me anyway and i kind of made a promise not to use them in this playthrough i may <laughs> reconsider that depending on how bad i do but for now i think i will not go for those uh, steam torpedoes won't be my priority. Let's draw our next adventure card and as I expected we are now in Act 2, the first intermission. I was admiring the magnificent aspect of the ocean when Captain Nemo appeared. He did not seem to be aware of my presence and began a series of astronomical observations. Then, when he had finished, he went and leaned out on the, on the cage of the watchlight and gazed abstractedly on the ocean. At the dark yellow reinforcement ship group to the ship draw pool, so it's more likely to get a warship out of that draw break and continue play with the next card. As of now, in the placement phase, we will now roll two white dice and one black die to begin each placement phase. I still do the normal math or the differential roll or what, what they're referring to, but this black die will now also add an additional ship when placing those ship counters on the board. But first things first, let's grab our next adventure card. And here we see another keep card. And I think this is the same card that Duck had during his playthrough, if I can remember correctly. So the Nautilus seemed becalmed only a few yards beneath the surface of the waves. I suppose that the crew was occupied with interior repairs rendered necessary by the violence of the mechanical movements of the machine. As I mentioned, we have to keep this card. At game's end, we have to put it into our pass pile, but it's really worth negative victory points if we have it in the pass pile. To remove this card, in all, so basically to fail it, you must perform a successful repair action and forego one hull gain from doing so. Which is okay, and I think that's something we should be able to do so, but for now, yeah, let's keep this card. Let's roll those placement dice. Oh wow, what a gigantic roll. In total we would gain five additional action points but unfortunately we kept one from the last round so we can only go up to five unless a card or so tells you otherwise but five actions are perfectly okay. Let's play some ship tokens. Again we start with the lowest die that's a one. One is occupied so we could put it here or there. For now let's place this one here. One goes to six, six is occupied, so we have to place it like this. We have a, let's say an additional six, this is occupied, this is occupied, and the Western Pacific being this one is also occupied. So in this case, we really have to replace our first ship counter even there or on an adjacent um, location with an actual ship token. But before we do that, let's not forget to bring the reinforcement group here, the first intermission, into our drawback here. Let's give this guy a good shuffle. I can draw the ship first and then I decide where to place it, by the way. So let's see what we get. And that's basically not a warship, the Falmar, a freighter. Uh, wow. Okay, I think I want to place it nearby. So keep in mind this was a six. I can replace one token on six or on any adjacent location. This one is adjacent due to the Suez Canal, which I cannot use for movement, but still for placement. So I think, yeah, why not? Let's go here. So I think this will be our next target. And yeah, this pretty much concludes the placement phase. We are not in the lull turn. We are performing a standard turn now. 
and with my first action I want to move here to the European Seas for now. With a second action I want to Stalk Attack the Fulmar here. So that's a 9 pretty much. Let's send in the guys again. So that's a plus 3. We still have to roll a 5 because again keep in mind our Stalk Attack gives us a plus 1, 2. So let's see what we get. That's a 6. Definitely good enough to get rid of the Fulmer here, which is a good thing. I think for now I will keep it as salvage for planning my next upgrade also, because there are still some interesting technologies waiting for me. And I think with my next action I'm going after this treasure available zone. So I will do a search action. So let's spend one more action. Let's Let's wager the crew again. So that's a plus three again. And by the way, there was a reason why I tried to get rid of that ship before I actually searched because every um, revealed ship token gives, gives me a minus one. So here, not only warship counts, so that's still important. And I think during the last video or so, I was saying you could use those gemstones for search results, but apparently you cannot. So plus three it is for now. So let's see what we get. Woohoo! That's so sad. The first roll of snake eyes. Finally, we see some fun. So I automatically fail no matter what. I could use conceal here for example, conseil, um, but I think I'd rather not. There are definitely worth results than that. So yeah, let's keep it for now. My lowest die was a one. So I get basically only lose only one resource here. That, that's really uh, important to keep in mind. But the gemstone is still here. So I think I want to try that again. But unfortunately, my crew is pretty shaken right now. It's still fit, which is kind of okay. Um, but yeah, I think for my next test, I want to wager with my hull. That's also a plus two. And it's definitely in much better shape than my crew at this point in time. But keep in mind, it's only a plus two now. And I think Scott already mentioned it, those dice will fail me. And yeah, you can definitely count on those. So we are still looking for at least a five now. Yeah, that's the case. We definitely want to reach a suspected level here. Yeah, that's a 10 plus two, that's 12. Eureka, we can collect two treasures now. Awesome. So in your face, you white dice. So let's draw the first one here. What do we get? Plus two or two points. That's great. Let's see. Second one is another victory point. We take those. That's for sure. And we still have one more action left. But again, I want to keep one action for a possible lull turn. So I will call it around for now. So let's draw our next adventure card. And here we see Ned Lance Tempers. Before I could make a single movement to prevent him, the Canadian rushed at the poor man, threw him down, held him by the throat. The steward was choking in the grip of those powerful hands. It's another test. If we pass, we can keep this card. And basically it's a keep. And then we could put it into our pass party for any future test roll for a plus three DRM. Wow, that's great. And we would fail, uh, lose one Nemo or two crew or sacrifice the net land character if available. At game ends, basically pass pile, which is one victory point for us. First of all, we have to pass the test, of course, so we could wager crew and Nemo. And I think this is what I want to do. So that's plus two, plus two. So in total, that's a plus four now. So we have to roll a six. Oh, it was close. I first saw the one here and I was already starting to freak out. But that's fine. So we can keep this card. Awesome. So we have a plus three DRM and yeah, we will get the one point here anyway because we can keep it. So that's definitely great. And then we can basically start rolling for placement. And guess what? We will see a lull turn, that's for sure. So let's place some ship tokens. One goes first, one has to go here. Yeah, there's no question about it. Then we have two times to two. One goes here and ooh, ooh, that's tough. Oh, let's put the next one here next to Cape Horn. Unfortunately, we cannot place a 
gemstone available here or treasure available token because yeah the spot is already taken so we will see a lull turn good thing is we had one action left from last round i just noticed i forgot to move this back we passed this test and with my one action remaining i think i want to do either a repair action here in order to get rid of this required we pass card or i want to do a rest action in order to yeah make my crew fresh again and i think this is what i want to do now and for the test i can either wager nemo or the hull so i think in this case let's go for the hull that's plus two but here i'm allowed to spend those treasure tokens this is what i will do so i will get rid of this treasure token here so in total now i have a plus four and yeah again i really want to we have at least a seven here in total plus four great would be 12 or more that's nine plus four that's 12 or more awesome we would now gain two crew points of course i missed to move that marker down but that's one two crew points so they're totally fresh that's really great okay that's already the end of my round so let's check the next card here the grecian archipelago it's a play card prudence bids us profit by the first opportunity to leave the Nautilus. The occasion must be serious and our first attempt must succeed. If it fails, we shall never find another and Captain Nemo will never forgive us. We have to play it. Plus one notoriety. Immediately make an unmodified warship attack. Wow. Days reverses the Nautilus and suffer any damage that might occur. If you suffer zero or one hit, we would pass. And this is four victory points for us. Not more, I think. No, that's just four victory points. If we suffer two or more hits, fail but rest, repair, and refit actions cost only one action point this turn, even if it's not a loud turn. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's see how this warship hits us. But first of all, we have to suffer the notoriety gain here. So we are at three, which is fine after a couple of rounds. So in respect to notoriety, we are doing OK. But that's also because of our great monstrous design um, upgrade card. But then we have to suffer the attack or we may be able to get around with it. There are some discussions and I think also in the FAQ it's mentioned or discussed if I could use something like Netlands Tempers in order to get this plus three DRM. It clearly says test. The designer says no, this thing is not a test. It's a warship attack. But in the end he said, mm, if you feel like it's okay, then use it. But I think it's not designed that way. So I will play it as mean as possible. So I will simply go for it as it is. So I really hope for a eight or more in this case. So let's see. Uh, of course, it's not a hit. It's not a success. So we gain one hit, which is okay because we still pass this card here. So that's kind of okay. But of course, we have to check. That's a four. Okay. Again, the hull is beaten. That's okay. So we passed this card somewhat. So we gain four victory points for that. It's definitely not too shabby. So next, let's roll for the placement phase. This is not a loud turn. So we get two more action points for the upcoming round. Let's place those tokens. One is occupied. Jason would be here or there. So let's see. We have to place it there. Then it's two. Two is now really occupied in all the directions. Cape Horn is gone. This is gone. This is gone. And yeah, South Pacific is gone too. So again, we have to draw one ship token. Let's quickly do that. And here we see a warship. And I think this is already, no, that's one of our starting tokens here. Here's a token. So I don't want to place this ship token here. So yeah, let's place it here into the Central Pacific area for now. We still have to place the four, but luckily four is okay. The South Atlantic. This was our placement phase and now I really have to start doing stuff and really try to get rid of some of those war or ship tokens. Not necessarily this warship here. So in theory I could try to get rid of some of those ships here, but I think right now I'm rather not. I think this one here is more key at this point. Of course here we do have 
empty spot. So that that's pretty much okay. Keep in mind, I have the hydro drive, so I can now move up to two adjacent oceans. And I think I want to go to the South Atlantic with our first action here. So that's one and two. Normally I would keep one action for a possible lull turn, but I really want to get rid of one of those ship tokens. So let's spend this one. Let's go for another stalk attack against this ship in the South Atlantic. What do we get? Woo, another warship. Wow, can you believe that? It's not the strongest, it's an armored frigate. What, 10 is definitely okay. It's not in respect, its fighting power is not high, but the defense value is definitely a 10, so wow. That's definitely something we have to think about. Good thing is we have a fresh crew, so we will be able to get a plus four in total with this um, stalk attack marker. So I think, yeah, let's try to bring her on. The Themis is going to strike first. So we are looking for a six or higher. Oh man, oh, this is really disappointing. Okay, that's another hit. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. Good thing it, it is only one hit because again, the lowest die shows a one, only a one. So let's see where she hits us at the three. Oh, it's the crew. Okay, but still we can go for another three. Yeah, we have to, I want to get rid of that ship. So let's now fire back or hit back. So we are not really firing. I think we are ramming this other ship. So we will wager our crew. It's still kind of fresh. That's a plus three because of the stalk attack, plus four. Keep that in mind. And now it's a test, so I could definitely go for net lance tempers, but I think right now hmm, I need to roll a six. That should be really possible. No, let's not do this at this point in time. Uh, six, maybe. Yeah, come on, let's go. Yeah, 10. Awesome. Okay, that was definitely a great hit. Again, we are not suffering any notoriety gains because of our monstrous designs here. And I think this is the first ship I will definitely put onto my tonnage track or tonnage track here. It's in the South Atlantic, so we have to put it here. And remember, if we ever fill out this entire column here, we would gain an additional eight victory points for scouring the sea. So we would be an inconvenience to society. Okay, let's see the next adventure card. A keep card, Vanikoro. The captain came up to me, put his finger on one spot of the chart and said the single word, Vanikoro. The effect was magical. I rose suddenly. The Nautilus has brought us to Vanikoro, I ask. Yes, professor. When the Nautilus is in any Pacific Ocean, right now we are not, you may spend one action to, wow, pass and collect two treasures or fail and gain up to two ship resources. If you are not using it, it's a fail, but wow, what a great card. We'll definitely have to go to some of those Pacific Oceans. That's so, so cool. If we passed, we also gain five victory points for our science missions. Wow, that's really a great event. Let's roll for placement. Luckily, not another lull turn so those are two more actions but again we have to spawn ships like crazy again one is fully occupied if i'm not mistaken so we have to draw another ship out of the bag what do we get that's not a warship it's a chance a passenger ship i think for now i want to put it huh it was the one right so we can only place it here or there here's already one so let's put it, no, let's put it to the Western Pacific area. I think this is definitely a good idea. Then we have the four, four is okay. We can place a ship token there and we have the six, but six, no, six is also fine. We can place one ship token up here into the European sea. So overall, that wasn't really terrible. But I just realized that we had a lot turn and I forgot to put one of those gemstones on top of the adventure stack here. Okay, that's definitely something I could easily fix. And then it's our action phase. We have two actions, which is not huge. So with one action, we will move here to the Eastern Pacific area. Keep in mind, we have our hydro drive, so we can move up to two oceans. And now I could decide to go for the Vanikoro here or I could try to get rid of one of those ships. And I think this is what I want to do. I really need to get rid of some of those ships. That's for sure. Again, I will go for a stalk attack. Maybe I really should change my strategy there too and really go for a more bold attack to really get rid of some more ships there. But for now, let's see what we get. And 
that's cool. That's a clipper. So that's not really terrible at all. We will definitely go for this ship. That much is clear. It has a defense value of nine. So again, let's spend one crew point here or rather wager with that. So we need to roll a six and now I'm really tempted to not uh, to spend one. No, I cannot do that. No, not for an attack action. No, I have to look for that. So a six it is. Whew, okay, that's six for sure. Awesome. So let's put the aerial into the Eastern Pacific tonnage track. So that's one point for us. It's kind of a pity, but yeah, we will take it anyway. As we are out of actions, we can go directly into our next round. And here we see Aranax's determination. For seven months we've been aboard your vessel and I ask you today in the name of my companions as well as myself if you intend to keep us here forever. Professor Aranax, Captain Nemo said, I'll answer you today just as I did seven months ago. Whoever aboards the Nautilus must never leave it. It's a test of 11, that's definitely something, but we can wage a Nemo and the crew, or and all the crew, when we pass it, we can, or if we pass, we can put it in the pass pile and immediately return one previously sacrificed character back to play if available. You do not recover any lost. Wow, that's great because we sacrificed our second officer here. Oh man, this would be really great and this would two additional victory points here. That's great. So I will definitely wager the crew and Nemo now for a plus five. And this time I am allowed to spend this diamond here. So that's a plus six in total. So we have to roll a five or more. Well, close, but definitely good enough. So let's put this card into the pass pile. This would give us two victory points by the end of the game. And what's more important is that we can basically unsacrifice the second officer. It's an additional action and three more victory points. Nice. Let's do the placement roll. Okay, that's three actions this round. That's something I will not complain about. So let's see, three goes here without problems. Five is a problem, so we can put it next to the three here. Yeah, that's the only, and six is also a problem. Yeah, there's nothing I can do for the six, so we have to replace one of those tokens with a ship. What do we have? The Sealand passenger ship. Okay, this was the six. Where would I put her? I think, hmm, that's good. Let's put it here to the European Sea section for now. Then we have three actions. For my first action, I will use the Vanikoro keep card here. When the Nautilus is in any Pacific Ocean, we are, you may spend one action just did to pass and collect two treasure stones. Isn't that nice? So let's see, that's the first one. Come on, something cool. Okay, that's three more points. Great. One more. And what do we have here? X and lose one resource or character. Wow, that's a mean one. Oh, this is really disappointing. Okay, nothing we can do about it. So I think in this case, I want to lose one hull at this point in time, but we are still allowed to keep this card. We still passed it, so it's still worth five victory points for us, and this is definitely not bad. With my second action, I think I want to try to get rid of one of those ships here. So let's draw the next ship counter. Do we get the Royal Adelaide Freighter? Okay, well, that's a tough one too. This one brings us one notoriety if you would take her out because it's only a minus one, but still that's kind of okay, but 10 is tough. No, let's go for it. Okay, I will wager my crew. I need to roll a seven. Yeah, that's the case unless I spend something else like Netherlands temper. I think this is now really a test. That's a plus three, but there, I think there are worse enemies, to be honest. Hmm. No, let's 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 try to keep that. Let's try to roll a seven. Yeah, eight. 
Awesome! That's so great. So the Royal Adelaide is ours. We gain one notoriety. I will do that off camera. We are now at four. I think I will still keep it, even though we already have something in this row here. But for us, that's definitely two more victory points. And yeah, what's more important, we're really keeping the oceans clean. Of course, clean of ship, that is. Pretty sure this Adelaide... No, okay. It's not a steamship or anything that's oil driven, whatnot. So, okay, that's kind of okay, I guess. I still have one more action left and I could either go for this treasure here or I could call it around and keep this one action for my next potential lull turn. I think this is what I will do. So let's grab our next adventure card. And yeah, I know this one. This is a great card, but it always comes at the wrong time. That's clear. Prussia declares war. I suppose that Chancellor Bismarck will take them to war after war, but it is their great naval base at Wilhelmshaven that concerns us now. What will Captain Nemo make of such an opportunity as Prussia's wars spread to the seas? In every ocean where there are one or more Prussian warships, unfortunately we don't have any Prussian warships right now on the board, immediately discard one hidden ship token or one revealed ship token. That's so cool. And then, yeah, P for this card's tonnage or fail for minus two um, notoriety. In total that's three victory points if we would keep it, but losing two notoriety i think it's really key especially as the science mission so yeah i think i will pass this card or rather fail that is in order to lose one two notoriety point and i will put this card into our fail pile let's roll for placement not another lull turn so that's three more actions one two and Three. Again, let's do the placement. One is all still well occupied, so there's nothing we can do about it. No, we have to exchange one of those tokens. Ferdinand Max, and this is still one of our starting tokens. That was the one, so I think let's put it here to the Pacific coast for now. And then it's two, two is fine. We can place a ship token there. And then it's four, four is also, everything is occupied. So again, we have to exchange one of those guys. What did we get? Wow, another ironclad, the Lord Clyde British ship. Hmm, it's four or there. Poof. Well, let's put it now here, you could really, some of those appear some stone so let's put it here to cape horn for now well what a evil ugly roll we still have one search token here so i think why not let's go for it let's spend one action let's wager our crew for a plus three so let's see what we roll oh man that's a six six for search is definitely a danger lose one crew or one hull of course i would lose one crew point and i would lose another resource because i failed it now this one here it's, let's see i hear it's or and there it's and Ah, uh, this is bad this is bad i still need one more wow this is tough because wow now i'm losing two resources out of this for sure because i failed the roll this is already and i wagered the crew so they will go down by one and then i will lose additional resource because of that result so no i think i will sacrifice net land here plus one drm after roll so it's now a four plus our three that's seven so that's now enough unfortunately we have to flip this guy he brings us one notoriety and we gain one additional notoriety because we have to go into the suspected column here but still we would be allowed to draw one treasure token so yeah let's do that so let's get rid of that stone hopefully it's something good or something worth dying for to be honest and yeah it definitely is we found the lost mayan city that's worth for us four victory points if i'm not mistaken sweet Things are getting pretty ugly, to be honest. I'm not so sure if I want to get rid of one ship here, to be honest, because there are other, let's say, areas which are more important right now, because here is a nice looking ship too. It's not easy, it's a 10, 
but I think that's our best bet for now. So let's spend one action point to move one, two spaces here to the Western Pacific. And there is a treasure stone waiting for us there too. So overall, that's I think a good idea. Let's spend one more action to go for this stalk attack. And again, we will wager our crew. Again, that's a plus four. We really need to roll a six now. Fingers crossed. And guess what? It's not a hit. Oh, bear. Hoo, hoo, hoo. This is tough. We would lose now two crew points for that because the lowest die is not a one. So we would go down one and then another one, two, pretty much. So whoa, do I really want to do that? I could go f and sacrifice Conseil here for a reroll. Should I do that? It's a risk, but I think I will take that risk. So let's sacrifice this guy. And yeah, let's re-roll those dudes. Yes, seven plus four. That's 11, good enough to take down the chance here. We gain one notoriety, so we are back at five now. And we are in the Western Pacific. So I think I will definitely Keep her in our salvage uh, tonnage area here for two more victory points in total, which is okay. Keep in mind, we get a minus one on non warships, but we are burning those guys like crazy. That's two character sacrifice, so not sure if I should go on like this. I still have one more action left and I think I really need to repair my hull because I still have this card here with me, which is also minus eight victory points. And that's definitely something. So yeah, let's call it around for now. And here we see the public opinion. Traders, ship owners, captains of vessels, skippers and master mariners from Europe and America, naval officers from every country, and at their heels the various national governments on these two continents were all extremely disturbed by the business. Fail and place one ship token in each major ocean using the usual placement procedure. Oh man, for each revealed ship token so placed also gain a plus one notoriety. This is bad. This is really, really, really bad. So let's start with major ocean Western Pacific. That's not a problem. Then it's two. Two is also not a problem, but I think then it's pretty much it, to be honest, because then we have three, three can go nowhere. So we have to place another ship token or have to reveal one of those ship tokens. That's our first notoriety. I will right now do that. Three, let's put this guy here. I will increase the notoriety as I speak. Then it's ocean number four. So this is down there. Again, we have to draw another ship. Let's see what we get. This is another warship. I think I want to keep the warship where it is. Again, our notoriety goes up. Then it's five. Five is over there. Again, we don't have any free spots here anyway. This was really devastating. Here we see the Allen Southerd. Hmm. I think let's place her here. I think I can really try to get rid of those guys easily. But again, we have to go up one and then last but not least six. That's really a bad card. Another warship, the Huascar, an ironclad ship. Yeah, why not? Let's no, let's place her here into the Cape of Good Hope. But now we are at nine notoriety. That's bad. I think I really need to go for this fog machine here in order to get rid of some of those um, notoriety points again. But if that wasn't bad enough, we still have to roll those placement dice. So let's see what we get. Another no lull turn. So we gain up to five actions this round. OK, I would, could really use those. But again, we have to reveal three more ships now. Again, we start at one here. Let's see what we get. Oh, that's a warship. Oh, that's one of the newer warships here from Act Two, the border. Not sure, do I really want to put her there? No, let's put her into the Arctic Ocean for now. Then it's two down there. 
So let's see. That's okay. That's better. General Grand. I think I want to have her here. That's fine. And then six all the way down there in the Indian Ocean. Let's place one. The Donau, a passenger. This would be a Prussia ship, but not a warship. Okay. This doesn't count. So I think, yeah, let's put her into the Indian Ocean. Oh man board is really getting crowded and I think I have to start doing some boat attacks anytime soon. Oh man, this hurts. Okay, I think I will not do boat attacks right now. I have a lot of action, so I will move one, two because of my hydro drive. Then I will do the stalk attack against the Kati Sark here. So I need to roll an eight. I will wager my glue. So that's a plus three, plus four. So I need to roll, oh no, that's a nine. So I need to roll a five. So this really starts to hurt. That's good enough. Awesome. We are not gaining any notoriety. We are in the North Atlantic. So we will definitely place the Cutty Sark here. Therefore we gain one more victory point. Let's move here to the European seas and spend another action. And yeah, let's go for another stalk attack for now. So we already burned most of our action points now. So this will be the sea land. Pretty much the same result. Again, I will rage to the crew. That's a plus four. We need to roll a five. So let's see. Yeah, good enough. Again, we are not gaining any notoriety. One victory point. I will definitely put it into the European C zone box here again that's one victory point if we get one more ship down from the um, Indian Ocean we would basically have unlocked those eight victory points here for scouring the sea this is great we still have one more action point left and I think I really should continue chasing those ships here yeah I think why not let's go for it let's do another stalk attack we might run into a loud turn without any action points then, but so be it. I think I have some, some retainers which could help me anyway. So let's see what we get. The Hannah Moore, a passenger ship. Okay, that's not a bad ship at all. We will definitely go and get her. So again, we will wager our crew. That's four. This time we only need to roll a four. So, okay, here's the ship, the Hannah Moore. Yes, that's definitely good enough. I saw a six. That's great. We will put her, because it's zero victory point, we don't need it. So we will put her into our salvage area for now. But this is already the end of the round. So let's do one more for this video here. Let's grab our next adventure card. And what do we have here? The Red Sea. The Greek and the Latin historians do not speak favorably of the Red Sea. It is, he pretends, a sea subject to fearful hurricanes strewn with inhospitable islands and which offers nothing good, either on its surface or on its depth. Either pass, oh, that's four victory points for us, or we can make two discarded ship tokens and place them in empty salvage boxes if available. No, nope, we don't have any empty salvage boxes, so I will pass this card and therefore we gain four more points. Okay, roll for placement. Okay, that's not a lull turn. Three more ships. Again, we start with one. One is completely full. We have to replace one token. Here have the Pequod, okay, a whaler, plus one Nemo. Okay, this could be nice. It has to go to the one. So yeah, let's put her there. Then we have three, three is good. Six, six, six is not good. Again, we have to replace one. Oh no, six is here. Of course we can place one here. Oh, good. So we can definitely do that. So overall, that wasn't that bad. We have three actions for this round. And I'm thinking of going down here and get this dono here because I could fill up my first column here of the tonnage track. So yeah, let's go there. One, two, first action, one, two, second action for the third action. We will go for another stalk attack here. So again, we will wager our crew. That's plus four in total. We have to roll a four. 
so hope for the best yes awesome so we are able to keep this card it doesn't provide us any actual bone uh, victory points but we just completed our first column here so we are inconvenient how is that so i can quickly show the, our victory point sport so in total we have whatever 80 points right now already we gain eight more now so overall we are not doing good and i think i have not calculated all my character points for example and i may have missed one or two of those little things but again keep in mind this is only some generic reminder for me so that i can keep kind of track of how well we are doing so far but for now i will call it a day i'm really enjoying this game a big deal i'm having so much fun here it's really a great and fun little game taking a little bit longer than i anticipated but again yeah i used to explain stuff and sometimes i explain stuff two or three times so if you don't like it let me know and i will try to reduce it as much as i can i really hope i haven't made too many mistakes if so please make me aware and i will try to somewhat repair that as good as i can but yeah hope i will catch some of the stuff doing editing or maybe when i start my next playthrough hope to see you soon in one of my other videos and yeah until then bye bye <laughs>